Okay. Andy scallops, Andy's chicken, Andy. Birigani. How does it feel to be a cover girl two months old? Oh, it does. <laughs> It's not, I mean, it does, it does, it's very nice. I'm very happy about that. I feel very humbled and it makes me feel great. This is the cover, Ginger Lai. The grilling issue. The grilling issue. The grilling issue. The grilling issue. Uh, I feel like when it comes to grilling a season, Seafood for a lot of people tends to be the last thing. They uh, don't think it's approachable or they get scared. They think they'll undercook it, they'll think they'll overcook it. Whatever the reasoning is, get the June July issue. Uh, this recipe I came up with kind of of uh, just a I went to this kind of yakitori Japanese grilling place with it. Uh, a lot of the, my favorite grilling dishes uh, do come from yakitori spots. I knew that this might be something that people might be a little worried to do, but I promise you grilling scallops is very, very easy, especially with the method that I'm gonna show you today. First off, uh, I thought of like, what kind of sauce would go well with these? And I, I played around a bit, but I landed on a mayonnaise sauce. Just stick with me, it's so like delicious. What I wanted was kind of to, duplicate the sauce you get on top of um, okonomiyaki uh, or takoyaki, fried uh, octopus balls, and then the, the Japanese pancakes. And uh, they'll use uh, a Japanese mayonnaise that usually has a little bit of rice vinegar and sweetened with a bit of sugar. I just use Hellman's. And I actually didn't want it any add any sugar to it or any sweetness. I wanted a bit of acid, so I'm adding a bit of lime juice. And this is one tablespoon. This is two teaspoons. Uh, so I'm just gonna stir this together. The lime juice is to kind of thin it out so it's a little bit more of a spreadable, little bit of salt. There's already salt in um, Hellman, so it doesn't need a lot. You should taste the lime in there. Next, um, I wanted to do something for the scallops. I didn't just want to put salt or pepper and just throw it on the grill. I wanted to make some kind of marinade or, or seasoning on it. Uh, and that's when I thought of actually using nori. Uh, this is just a sheet of nori. Uh, I wanted it to be a garnish and in the marinade. So what I do here is I just kind of tear it up. And then I add it to a sp spice mill. And then I just kind of... Failure. Uh, I need to tear it up a little bit more. That's yeah, not, I got too excited. Okay, so we're gonna pulverize this in a spice mill. You could use, use a blender as well. I love this. I did this uh, for a recipe a few years ago. Your, what? Oh, cool. You're wor it won't turn on. I know. Just worried, paranoid, scared. No. Anyways, uh, I'm going to add half of this to the bowl here. This will be our for a garnish. I'm not colorblind, but like, what color is that? It looks like green, like a, a jewel green. A jewel green. Jade? No? Okay. Le oh. uh, so we're gonna add the remaining half of the uh, toast, uh, pulverized nori. So this nori powder, it just is going to uh, give another kind of salty element besides like just kosher salt on the scallop. So it's another kind of uh, layer of salt. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of toasted coriander, toasted ground coriander and a half teaspoon of ginger. I don't use a lot of ground ginger, I'll say that. 
dried ground ginger. It's not something you'll see always in my pantry. But uh, for this, I went with a dried form just so it easily kind of um, goes into the marinade when you mix it with the oil and it doesn't burn compared to if you were using um, fresh grated ginger. We have two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And you get this kind of like thick, glazy situation over here. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's quite concentrated. So here we have 12 scallops, uh, 12 sea scallops. Uh, we have the kind of side muscles removed. Um, when I say dry scallops, I mean they weren't treated in some kind of salt water solution. Uh, and you should ask your fishmonger so you know that. The ones that tend to have salt water, uh, that are put in a salt water solution, they tend to be a little bit more plump, a little bit more, have like a uh, bleach white color to them and you will never get a proper crust if they are uh, treated in a wet solution. Yeah. I overheard you. You ever yeah. notice when some are like real white and then some are, were you just talking about that? But when they get orange and pink, that's the so, female ones. But the orange and pink ones, that's that's okay. Yes, well, they're the, be a little richer and more sweet. So but but if the, so, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about the sweetness level. Yeah, the like, females you know, like, are tend to be sweeter and richer. Yeah, and like some chefs life. select like those. But uh, we were talking about dry versus wet uh, treated scallops. Oh, like how they're handled. How they're handled, and I say always go for dry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But I think people don't know. But the ones that are wet treated in a, in a like salt in a water tub. solution. Well, they're in a tub, but also sometimes they're taken out of the tub and you don't won't see them. Yeah, and then they, and then they have the white color to them, like a bleach white color. So you have to be aware of that. Mm. So uh, I patted these really uh, patted these dry. That's so you can get them a nice nice color. I'm gonna add them. So I'm just gonna toss these. It's not a marinade because you're not letting the scallops uh, sit. Just calm down. I have bamboo skewers. These have been soaked. They've been soaking in water. Uh, uh, I think we did like at least six hours, 12 hours. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, So what I do with scallops is what I learned is if you put a scallop and you, just, and you want to skewer them in the center, Ouch. all the way through, it's really easy to skewer uh, thread scallops because there's, um, there's no resistance. But if you just do one and then you try to flip, you can't. You can't flip them. It's so difficult. Look, they're just, the, the, the skewer's just going around and around. So it's very hard. So what I learned and what I saw from like uh, what they'll do in a lot of yakitori restaurants is, is they'll do the double skewer. Ouch. And then with this, you pick up both and you flip. I think it's really cool. Ben, what are you doing here? <laughs> I swear, he's got a crush on me. Uh, he got a haircut for me and everything. So I'm gonna do three scallops per. Ouch. They're also just like it's cool. They're like they're sexy. It's like they're double skewered. Don't get dirty on me. Don't even. Don't you? I, you're my. I'm gonna season both sides with salt. Gossip. Stop gossiping over there. What? Stop gossiping. I could feel it. When Gabby goes quiet, that means she's gossiping. When Gabby's not speaking, that means she's talking shit. Remember. With anything you're throwing on the grill, but especially seafood, you want to turn on your grill, get it hot, clean it because it's easier to uh, clean your grill when it's hot rather than when it's cold. 
and then because you don't want to put a nice piece of fish or a nice piece of meat on a dirty plate. The grates are clean. I'm going to slick the grates with the oil. What I learned is these wooden skewers, the double skewer act as a handle, which is why I place the, uh, the scallops instead of in the center of the grill. I kind of put them slightly off so that the, uh, the skewers hang off a bit. I'll show you. Once I place them, I just let them go. This is not the time to kind of go messing around. They're gonna go for how many minutes? Three minutes? Three minutes per side. Three minutes per side, they're gonna release easily from the grates. They're gonna have like a nice, they'll go get a little bit golden, and then flip them another three minutes, so six minutes total, call it a day. Goodbye. We're good? Three flip? Let them go over another three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna pick these up. Okay, I am scallops I set aside. I'm just gonna slice some scallion, just the dark green parts. Fields off. This is Brad's cutting board. New cutting board. Tiny cutting board. I'm going to put the sauce underneath our limey mayonnaise. I'll just spread that over. You could obviously serve this on the side. And then I'm gonna zest one lime half over. Squeeze the half over and then sprinkle some of the scallions. Add a bit of chilies. I have a mix, but you could just use one. This is gochugaru Korean chili flakes. And orfa, which is a spicy uh, chili flake from, from Turkey. But you could use whatever chili flakes you like. And then I just kind of go on top like that. Savory dust. Magic dust. Maybe that's not appropriate to say. So here you have it, grilled scallops uh, with a uh, limey mayo on the bottom and scallions, nori, and chili flakes on top. I'm going to grab one. Chris, do you want to try one? Okay. All right. Do you remember these? Oh, are you kidding? I'd like to think ago. I was there every you step there, of the you way. You were there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wow. I can't make you a bite like the last time. Uh, this is nori, a little bit of chili flake. Nori, ginger, coriander, and then top with chili. Though? Yeah. You're a wild man. I know. You like as soon as you might think you got me in the like, ah! ground ginger. That's nice. I love oh, this one. Good. Cover star. You earned it. Two months in a row. Shh. Oh god. And Andy keeps score about shit like that. No, I don't. Oh, that's Andy, so not totally, true. You get like some it doesn't matter. That's the thing. It doesn't actually matter. It really doesn't matter, like, 